Hey everybody, Martin Chuck here, and I can speak on behalf of my buddy David Woods. We're super grateful that you elected to buy the Plane Mate. The Plane Mate has been an amazing product for us, and we're glad so many people are enjoying it out there. Let's talk about unboxing your Plane Mate and getting started. Go ahead and take the contents out of the box. It's all in this handy plastic shipping package here. Now you'll notice we've got card in here that asks you to post your information on social media platforms. It's a lot of fun. We like looking at you using your plane mate and we'll comment and we will reshare your post if you want us to. So go ahead and use your plane mate post on social. It's good fun. Now let's talk about what you bought. Open this up and let's talk about these pieces. You have three bands, two green bands and one red band, one short green band, one long green green band and one long red band. And you have a club connector. Let's talk about all these goodies here. Take them out of the package. Okay. Now, first off, your belt. This is the new improved belt. It's a little simpler. It doesn't have two pieces. It's basically ready to go right out of the box. Go ahead and put your belt on, and for the right-handed golfer, you're gonna take the rail, put it on your right side, from right hip bone around your right side. Take the belt, put it through the D-ring. You wanna get the D-ring basically right on top of your belt buckle. In fact, a little nice cheat trick here is to get it fractionally below your belt buckle. So when you tighten it, fatten it down really tight, now my belt is gonna help keep my plane mate secure. The plane mate is under a lot of force when you swing it, and so we want that not to move around very much. And if it's on and slightly below your belt, your belt will act as friction to keep it in place. So a lot of people have shared that with us, so thank you very much. Now the club connector. You'll see when you look at this, there are two channels, a bigger channel and a smaller channel. Big, big deals with this. Do not over tighten your club connector. Some of you super strong people out there that can bend quarters with your index fingers and thumbs, you can break this. I've never broken one, but it's possible. So when you put this on a golf club, where you locate this is basically, let me explain, tighten it up and not over tighten it. Just get it to where it's got some resistance to twisting, not batten it down completely. Let me put the long green band on first. You'll notice on the short of the connect, the, the, the connectors on either end of the green band, the smaller of the two, the little metal clip, clip that onto the connector. The other connector now does not have any metal clip. It just snaps onto the rail, okay? From here, when you go ahead and establish your address relationship, you don't want that much tension on the band. So I would move it a little closer to the grip. Go ahead and tighten it up a little bit. Again, don't over tighten it. Get it right behind the direction you're hitting. Find that nice little bit of pressure, about one, maybe two pounds of pressure away from you to establish a great radius. That's what we're looking for, okay? You can practice away. Now be sure when you get this, go to the website and register your plane mate. We've got a whole advanced protocol series for you. David Woods and I took a lot of time and we built a protocol series based on your questions from the first wave of sales on the plane mate. And we think you're really gonna enjoy that. So you've got the original protocol and then the advanced protocol, but to get that you have to register your plane mate. Take you two minutes. And I think you'll really enjoy the videos. Now, when you take your connector off, you're going to unscrew the nut here. And then what some people do is they unscrew it, they leave it dangling around, bounces around in a cart, and guess what happens? This comes right off, and they lose this piece. And naturally, they're going to call us, and we are going to charge you to send you another one of these. So let's be mindful to keep this on here lightly so that it doesn't spin itself off and you lose it in the grass and cannot find it. That's not cool. So now... Let's go ahead and unclip this. When you are going to use the shorter band, take the shorter band, easy peasy lemon squeezy, clip it onto the rail. You can go ahead and clip onto the club connector. We'll use the thicker, the bigger of the two channels here. And that's gonna go about three inches below the grip. And again, tighten the connector down. Don't over tighten it. Get it to where there's some resistance to twisting. We're golden. Okay, and from there again, one pound of pressure, that feels great, fantastic. And again, when you undo this, get it to where you can take it off and then tighten it up a little bit. All right, fantastic. So that's the basics now. Have fun, enjoy the protocols. Now, what about you ladies and juniors out there? 
So you can see as guys that were built, we've got, a lot of us have something to keep the plane made from moving around, it's called a tummy. Ladies, different shape. What I need you to do is wear this a little bit lower on your hips, put it on super tight, and so it's worn lower on the hips, not high on the waist. And then juniors, a little trick for you guys and gals out there. Go ahead and put, when you're putting it on, let's talk about how you are going to make it as tiny as possible. You'll see these little flaps, fold them back. That will allow you to make this as small as you can on both sides. Some of you parents and coaches out there. So now that's as tiny as it can be right there. For I'd say, my son's 10 years old and he's pretty tiny. Works just fine on him. And then the excess, excess, you can kind of inchworm this up a little bit. And that way you don't have this big excess piece kind of looking like a tail behind the junior golfer. It's wrapped up nicely behind them. So Martin Chuck and my partner David Woods, co-developers of the Plane Mate, we're super grateful that you've elected to buy this. It's been an overwhelming success. We're, we're blown away how many people are enjoying using their Plane Mate. We want you to enjoy it, practice with it, just develop your game. And, and again, remember, you can post on social media. We love looking at those. We'll comment and we'll share with our friends as well. So thanks again for buying the Plane Mate.